Hello, I'm Carol Norson with the latest on the coronavirus pandemic in Oklahoma from Two Works for You. Our average number of COVID deaths have been 30. These numbers are real. And when you hear 30 deaths a day and it's it's more people dying than, than from heart disease or cancer, that really ought to put it in perspective. COVID deaths, as you just heard here in Oklahoma, continue to climb. Last week, the State Department of Health reported 62 deaths in one day alone. There's been a lot of talk about COVID being comparable to the flu, but when you check our COVID death rate versus flu deaths, it's clear that COVID is much deadlier. Now to the latest numbers released by the State Department of Health Monday morning. Every day this month, the department has reported more than 1,700 hospitalizations. 14 more people have died from the virus. Two of those deaths were here in Tulsa County. There are 3,885 new cases. And as you can see in the graph on your screen, we are starting the new year with a higher number of positive COVID cases in children between the ages of 5 and 17. We've seen the number jump from 23 cases in August to 845 cases on January 3rd. This confirms that children are also at risk of contracting the virus despite claims to the contrary. As Oklahoma continues rolling out phase two of the coronavirus vaccine, we've had several viewers ask why their doctor's office doesn't give the shots. Well, the state health department tells us unlike other vaccines, COVID vaccine require special storage and that's not available in all doctors offices. It has to be used within a specific time frame after thawing or it has to be thrown out. Staff need training to give the shots and patients have to be monitored for up to 30 minutes after getting a dose to check for reactions. Our 10 day weather forecast looking a lot milder than it has been. Temperatures in the upper 50s tomorrow 61 on Wednesday back into the 50s on Thursday and then starting to cool off again just in time for the weekend with temperatures in the 40s and back up to 50 on Sunday. That's a look at some of the stories making headlines on this Monday.